In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can access your College of the Redwoods student email account, and if you'd like, how you can forward emails you receive to this account to other email accounts. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to redwoods.edu in your web browser. Once the College of the Redwoods homepage is loaded up, along the top of the page you'll find a student email link. Go ahead and click that link. Once this page is loaded, you'll find a login box, which you can enter your username and password into. Your username will be the first initial of your first name, followed by your last name, followed by the last three digits of your student ID number. So my name is Dan Fiore, so my username is D Fiore, and then 392. Your default password, if your account was created before March 15, 2011, will be a six-digit birth date, which is two-digit month, two-digit day, and two-digit year. If it was after March 15, 2011, it'll be an eight-digit birthday, which is two-digit month, two-digit day, and four-digit year. So I'll enter my password and then click the Sign In button. When you're signed in, you're taken to the Google Apps for College of the Redwoods homepage. From here, you can access a few services. The one that we'll want to access is email, so go ahead and click the email link. Now this will load up your Gmail account. From here, you can check emails and compose new emails. If you'd like to forward emails that you get to your student account. At the top of the page you will want to click the settings link. Once settings is loaded you'll want to go ahead and click the forwarding and POP slash IMAP link. And from here under forwarding you'll want to click add a forwarding address. This will bring up the add a forwarding address window and under the section that says please enter a new forwarding email address you'll want to go ahead and enter in the email that you'd like your emails to go to. I'll go ahead and enter in my work account and then from here you'll want to press the next button. You'll get a message that lets you know a confirmation code has been sent to verify permission. Go ahead and click the OK button. You'll now be sent an email with a verification link that you'll need to click to confirm that the email address you've specified is yours. Once you've done that, emails sent to your student email account will also be forwarded to that address.